Hey, good morning. Eagle Song Gardener here. Today I'm in the box garden. It's uh, June 30th, last day of June, and I just want to show you this amazing explosive growth of June. It's as soon as the solstice passed, all the flowers started to bloom in this garden. And most of these, well, actually all of the flowers that you're seeing in the garden are self-sown. They've just dropped seed and, and come back from year, previous years. What's amazing to me at this point in time is that we just have come out of a, a phenomenal heat wave, temperatures up to 103 degrees here, and this garden has not been watered yet this year, and it probably won't be. I, I, actually, that's not true. I, I may water when we put in the fall brassicas, watering them in. All right, so there's all these plants. There's garlic and alicampain, a gigantic motherwort who's just falling over. We've got a few little um, surprises like this corn. I have no idea how the corn got here, but there it is. And so we've got an amazing garden, 128 square feet. We have just finished a huge um, heat wave, very unlikely or unusual for this part of the world. And, and all these plants are doing remarkably well. They took the heat a bit. We've harvested some of the motherwort to make tincture. But essentially, this is a garden that's self-maintaining. Even the lettuces right here are still in very good shape. And the only thing I can tell you about why this is so is that we've been putting compost onto the garden. This garden was, well, I don't remember when we actually put it in. I think it's about three years old now. And so each year it gets compost. That's its only fertility. And very little water, if any, except when transplants are put in. And we constantly eat out of this garden. Here we have some beautiful evening primrose. They're actually outside the garden. But the box garden really helps me to understand what the microbes and the mycelium are doing in the soil that helps to stabilize our gardens. This is a very simple input. So we have no fertility, no water, 102, 103 degrees, and this garden is still flourishing. That is awesome. Eagle Song Gardener signing off from Ravencroft Gardener. <laughs> from Ravencroft Garden. Hey, we'll see you down the road at eaglesong-gardener.com. If you want to learn how to do this in your own garden, no matter how big or small it is, we have information that can support your journey in stabilizing your garden and your life so that you can get the most out of your time here on earth. eaglesong-gardener.com. See you down the road.